Let's go, y'all. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Unreal Reality. This week, I got weird TikToks that'll keep you up all night. Please hit that like button so this video is recommended to others. And if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button so you never miss another video from us again. With that out of the way, let's jump right into it, y'all. Did you guys hear the NBC Nightly News? The Pentagon said that there is a potential mothership headed towards Earth. Mm, yeah, you told me about it. He said it so casually. And he's like, we'll be right back after this. <laughs> and it's like, what? All right, hold on. Listen to this. In 60 seconds, the new draft report on UFOs. The Pentagon's expert warning about a possible mothership coming close to Earth. Stay with us. Stay what? with us. <laughs> Stay with us. You end on that. Now oh our gosh. sponsor, Denny's. How you doing? Grand Slam. Like what? <laughs> How is that so casual, nonchalant? Like we've we. I feel like we just talked about the possibility of there being another species of whatever. What does that mean? And another like, ship. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh my but there's goodness. like there's this thing that's been flying around, it's blowing around Earth or close to Earth before. But it looks like a giant like rock looking thing like this. Yeah. But the way it flies through space almost defies physics. Mm. Yeah. Like it's not like completely going off of gravity. And so this one expert in the Pentagon or whatever is like, yeah, it's some other shit. They're really exercising their uh, freedom of speech to the fullest extent. Mr. Hello? Harris, are you driving? Um, actually, I'm pulling into my doctor's office. Actually, so so I'll just give me one second. I'm parking right now. Okay. So maybe I don't understand something. This is a driving while license suspended. That is correct, Your Honor. Um, and he was just driving, and he didn't have a license. Idiot. Okay. Oh, is with the charges, Your Honor? Yes. No, I'm looking at his yes. record. He doesn't have a license. He's suspended and he's just driving. That is correct, Your Honor. <laughs> oh. I don't even know why he would do that. So, defendant's bond is revoked in this matter. Defendant is to turn himself into the Washington County Jail by 6 p.m. today. Failure to turn himself in will result in a bench warrant with no bond. Damn. Yo, you really can't cure stupid. I don't know, guys. Maybe he was going for the insanity angle. <laughs> for those of you living on the East Coast of the United States, like myself, this is important that you hear. It's important that you go click and watch the video, uh, read the article, and everything else that I'm about to tell you. Listen, there is an anomaly that is swimming or moving up alongside Africa, and it's expected to possibly breach East Coast waters. Now, I don't know what it is. It's huge as f It's a cluster of waves over 80 f feet high, spanning 2,000 miles. This is all real. This isn't conspiracy. This isn't bullshit. This isn't fake news. This is factual sh Please, if you live on the East Coast, click the link in my profile. Go to the articles tab and read it for yourself or go on Google or your favorite Crazy. search engine and type in anomaly in ocean in Africa. Stay safe, stay blessed, and stay lit, people. Look, guys, we've been tracking this anomaly since its inception. Okay, so it's going to be very interesting to see if uh, it gets any more eyes on it or attention now that it's headed directly in our uh, direction. An extreme and deadly heat dome is now heading to the US from Mexico. And experts expect temperatures to surpass 110 degrees in some areas next week. If you don't know, a heat dome occurs when hot ocean air becomes trapped in the atmosphere, much like placing a lid on a boiling pot. And this heat dome has been one of the most extreme Mexico has ever faced. So far, it has killed almost 50 people from heat stroke and dehydration. And their capital has set all time record highs on multiple occasions. And now it's crossing over to America. And nobody Border wall is going to keep this one out. In fact, experts say that it's even responsible for fueling those massive storms battering Texas right now. They say that these are going to be the city's worst affected and it'll probably hit around early next week. 
good luck. Yeah, I mean, at this point, can anyone even debate against global warming? It's insane how much hotter our summers and winters get every year, guys. Every year. Why you should never do this. This is 17-year-old Michael Dumas. He was on a church trip to Florida with some of his friends. While on this trip, they went to Pompano Beach, and he would be buried in the sand, as you see here. He'd soon be unburied and all would be well until later that night when he would wake up in the middle of the night and be itching like crazy and sweating. At first, this would be labeled as an ear infection and he would be sent home with drops, but it would soon be obvious that that's not what it was as he started to develop these raised bumpy rashes and he became pretty lethargic, just wanting to sleep all the time. It got even worse to the point where he was having these big nasty blisters. And that's when he'd finally be diagnosed with cutaneous larva migraines, which is pretty much dog or cat hookworm. So pretty much these work by the dog or the cat pooping in the sand and contaminating it. And then not long after these microscopic larva hatch and then you step in this contaminated sand and you end up looking like Michael. After all of this, he ended up developing a staph infection as well. And if it's not bad enough, just him getting infected, five others from this trip got infected with wow. hookworm as well. Yeah, so AKA, long story short, do not, I repeat, do not let your kids bury you in the sand or vice versa. So all over the world, people are being caught glitching out, you guys. Like, it's crazy. What is going on? This is literally how it started, y'all. Just like that. This dude out of nowhere just hits these guys that were parked here, and he starts glitching out, y'all. Check it out. Look, look at him. We'll just watch. Y'all see that? And Y'all see that? Oh my goodness. You look at that. This is how it ended, y'all. Yeah. This is how it ended, y'all. Yeah, you know. Yo, they need to put this man in like a, a PSA or an anti-drug campaign, letting kids know if you smoke crack or meth, this is what happens to you. <laughs> Here's a conspiracy theory I think might be true. Last week, a Tesla crashed through a wall of my house. I was home when it happened. The first thing I did was check to make sure my roommate was okay. Then I called 911. Then I went outside and started taking pictures of the crash. My first picture was at 5.07 p.m. My first picture of the tow truck drivers trying to take the Tesla out of here was at 5.10 p.m. It had literally just happened minutes earlier, and so I was like, hey, can we pause for a second? Like, the cops are on their way right now, and the tow truck driver actually said to me, you. And I was like, what? Are you kidding me, dude? Like, my house just got ran into. Have some empathy. And no joke, he goes, here's your empathy. And I was like, oh my God, you're being that much of a dick right now? And he goes, get the f out of my way. And then he shoved me and he wow. threatened to beat me up and kill me if I didn't let him get the car out of there. So my question is, is Tesla's automatic crash system alerting tow truck drivers? And are they offering them a bunch of money to get the car out of a situation before news cameras show up? They don't want any more negative press Maybe. because those tow truck drivers were here so fast and they were so aggressive, there had to be a bunch of money on the line. There you go, guys. New life hack for everybody out there. No more waiting hours for a tow truck to reach you. Just let them know that it's a Tesla and that the computer system was torched. They should be to you in under three minutes. <laughs> There's three main categories that I think people should know about Bouvet Island. So number one, there was this guy who happened to look at Bouvet Island earlier and he noticed that it wasn't labeled properly. So he thought this was strange. So he contacted one of his friends who happened to work at the Apple labeling for maps. And he said that this was an anomaly. All maps, all areas are usually labeled. And if this wasn't labeled, that it must have not been labeled on purpose. Number two, if you look at it on the map,
maps, it's extremely pixelated. It's like somebody was purposely trying to cover that area up. There's no detail on the map. Number three is actually these images. And this is Bouvet Island over the months of this year, which has some weird tornado formations coming out of it. What's these weird kind of like vibrational looking things that are affecting the clouds? Um, Here's another one. Here's another one. So what's interesting about this, bro, is that the scientists around are saying, oh, it's just an instrument anomaly. But then you overlay that with the satellite imagery and you start to see, well, no, there might be some, some weird kind of like sound artifact coming out of Bouvet Island. My man also left out that this island happens to be the most remote island in the world, as per NASA. Do you really believe what they tell you? Have you heard of the orphan train? It was a covert operation to repopulate and reshape the American Midwest. This is as dark and scary as it sounds. Between 1854 and 1929, the United States was experiencing massive waves of immigration that was flooding into urban areas. There was a need to spread the population more evenly across the country, not only to alleviate the overcrowded cities, but also to exert control over areas in America. So, the U.S. government came up with a plan. They took over 250,000 orphans and homeless children from New York City and other urban areas, placed them on trains, and sent them to rural towns across America. This plan was sold to the public as giving these children a fresh start, but the reality was much darker and more complex. Many of these children simply vanished. Over 100,000 children disappeared as soon as they stepped onto those trains. Was this just a result of poor record keeping? Or is there a more sinister story behind these missing children? I'm sorry, did they say poor record keeping? I personally never heard of this one, but sadly, I can't say that I wouldn't believe it. Watch this. Wow. 它嘴型也是很有问题的，而且牙齿也不行，嗯，牙齿就是，scary I don't know about you, but for me, it is just absolutely terrifying just to think of what this type of tech can do in the hands of the wrong people. It's frightening, guys. Japan is making an elevator to space starting in 2025, but there's one glaring problem with this. Watch. Japan is building a lift through which humans will be able to go to space. Japan is going to start the work on this lift by the year 2025. Not only is this wow. space city they're building straight out of an anime, it's going to be 90,000 kilometers into the air which is about 55,923 miles, or where they put early warning satellites out into space. By the way, to get to the moon is 238,000 miles. But the problem is how much it's gonna cost to build it. Watch. It'll cost about $7 billion. $7 billion? Uh-huh. For Super Space City. Uh-huh. But what do you guys think about Japan's Super Space City only costing $7 billion and being 55,000 miles into space? Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Like, share, and follow. And would you want to live there? And this is your Bald News Network. Cost about $7 billion. Did he say $7 billion? Like, with a B? <laughs> I'm good. Can you even imagine what the rents are going to be? To uh, everybody out there who was thinking KFC for dinner tonight, I truly apologize from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Bro, are you sure it's not fake? Buddy. Yeah. Why are you holding it down so hard? Got him. Look. 
It's literally a scanner. We could call the police right now. Look, this is the real one. Wow. Like, I have it all on video. Fake, Don't use your cards it. in places like this. They're trying to steal your information. Yeah, be careful. Why are you acting confused? You knew that was there. Like, come on, bro. Crazy guys. Look, get his name and everything, because he's saying that he What's checked it and he confirmed My it. My name is. The guys like come over here, give me a cigarette. Yeah, but I thought you checked it. You, you, said, you said that it was real. You said you checked, but obviously not, bro. We put tape Look, this is the real tapper. What is this? We put tape here. Now this one new. So how come it says right here tap to pay? pay? If taps up here, why does it say right here tap to pay? I also need this. I want to click. No, we can no, call bro, the police. Yeah. This is I evidence. I need to click this, this for sure, my boss. No, it's fine, bro. We'll, we'll show them the video I share. So they walked right out the front doors and didn't call the police why i guess they got their content right they got their clips they're good did you guys see that video with that lady the newscast lady human not human with the fly coming out of her eye it like drips down and then pops in her mouth i'm gonna show you it but even not just that not just that her face looks very weird. I don't know if it's something like a glitchy camera, but um, people were saying, oh, that's her eyelash. Bullshit. We live in the upside down world. That was not an eyelash. Watch. Really just swallowed this fly that came out of her eye. Where did that fly come from anyways? It, was, it came out of her eye and she swallowed it? Bro, are you kidding me? First of all, how do you not... Earlier today, I saw a woman break it down and do it in slow motion. And I don't know if you've seen that one floating around. That was the first one I saw. She does a really good job of like breaking down the tiniest bit. And you could see it come out of her eye and she eats it. I have heard non-humans, I don't want to say too much, um, eat flies. I it, it was hard for me to watch that because that shit makes me sick and gets, gets my skin crawling. But... Sorry, that just proves a whole lot of what we've all been thinking. How in the world did that fly come out of that lady's eye and she managed to catch it in her mouth? It's disgusting. It's not every day that we get to see something that we can't easily explain. And it's even rarer to actually capture something like this on camera. But this is exactly what happens in these next videos that I'm about to show you guys, starting with this video coming in from China. Moving. In this bizarre video, a mutant creature washed ashore in China and it actually resembles a humanoid creature of some sort. Creepy, isn't it? In this next video, a huge and unknown creature washed ashore in Brazil and someone was actually lucky enough to capture it on camera. Check this out. <laughs> Some suggest that this could actually be the remains of a whale, but I'm not too sure. To this day, it remains a complete mystery. But I want to know your thoughts. What do you think these creatures are? Have you ever seen anything like this? Would any of you out there hold what you think to be an alien so close to you without being nervous af that there's a strong possibility that this freaking thing can look at you and quite literally bite your freaking head off This is crazy. They make it so freaking hard to feel bad for them. Why? Why do they do things like this? People are saying this pyramid just popped up out of nowhere in Oakland, California, y'all. They have never seen this before, y'all. Again, like, look at this. Like, what's going on, y'all? You can see people taking pictures of it. Um... They have never seen this. Even people who live in Oakland, they're commenting saying, where did this come from? Like they said, this was planted by aliens or extraterrestrials, whatever it may be. But look at that, y'all. Look, 
And I know they couldn't make anything like this because they tried to make pyramids and they couldn't make nothing like this, y'all. I mean, it looks like the ones, I mean, look at the structure of it, right? Look at the structure of it. It's perfect. Literally, the pyramid right over the horizon, looking over the city. That's very powerful, y'all. New Earth is literally loading right before our eyes. We're seeing a lot of new things come into being. Wow. New animals, new pyramids, new temperature, climate change. They're talking everything. Mm. Except they're it. telling you every making up everything except that there's a new earth loading right now. Old earth is going away and there's a new earth loading. This is absolutely crazy, guys. Is anyone out there from California who can chime in and confirm or deny that this really happened? Because I find it so hard to believe that a pyramid this size just just popped up out of total blue in this video he speaks about why you should never steal from a target make sure you watch until the end and let me know what you think in the comments below i just found out why you should never steal from a target and it is terrifying i was talking to my friend who works in asset protection at target and he was telling me about the insane extent target goes to prevent theft and it was scaring me because i was thinking back to every time that i may or may not have stolen something from target he gave me this scenario to explain it to me it was like you go to target you get all your items and then you go to the self-checkout you scan all of your items except for a pack of gum and you put everything in a bag pay walk out the door and you think that you just got away with stealing that pack of gum next time you go to target because you think that you can get away with it maybe you steal something else could be another pack of gum could be something a little more expensive like sunglasses nonetheless you think you're getting away with stealing these items so the pattern just continues and continues but little did you know from that first pack of gum that you stole target had been building a file on you they do this using facial recognition technology so as soon as they catch you stealing they'll capture your face and every time you come into the store after that they know it's you that's across every target like you steal from one target the other target knows about it. and they basically just just continue gathering evidence of you stealing through the video cameras until you hit $1,200 of stolen items. At that point, they call the police and submit all of that evidence to them because $1,200 of stolen goods is enough to arrest you. So yeah, they know you're stealing. They, they just want to arrest you. And it got me scared because I was like, how much money am I up to then? Like and you know what? If Target's doing it, Walmart's doing it. And if Walmart's doing it, ShopRite's doing it. Guys, all these stores are doing it. So next time you want to steal that $1.50 Snickers bar, I would think long and hard first. This is wild. A guest that Joe Rogan had on his podcast just last month has now been charged with murder after police found a head in his freezer. On the podcast, Sheldon Johnson spoke about how he used to be in the Bloods gang, but had since decided to turn his life around, go to school, and became a criminal justice activist at the law firm Queen's Defenders. But then, early Tuesday morning, police received 911 calls regarding gun inside an apartment building in New York with one of the neighbors telling police that she heard a person shout, please don't, I have a family. She said two more gun Shots rang out, followed by silence. Shortly after hearing the shots, the neighbor saw Johnson carrying bags and cleaning supplies walking in and out of the apartment. When the building manager checked security footage, he noticed that he had changed clothes several times and carried storage bins and bags on multiple occasions. When the manager called the police to do a wellness check, they discovered the victim's torso and feet inside the bin. His legs, arms, and head were in the freezer, and he had been at least once in the head. Roughly 17 hours later, Sheldon Johnson was charged with murder. And this is exactly why people who spent 25 years in prison for attempted murder need to stay in prison and should never be granted parole. What? So you know how NASA told you not to take pictures of the eclipse with your phone because it would damage your camera? Well, that was complete bullshit. And a lot of people did just that. And some guys took some like time lapse videos. A lot of people caught what looks like the moon next to the eclipse while the eclipse is happening. A lot of people. Seriously, you can find it here if they don't block the video. Like I posted one and immediately it was removed from the FYP for being unoriginal or low quality. It was very high quality and it was a duet. So, you know, probably suppression, but I told you. People were talking about the moon and the sun not being in alignment during the eclipse, and everybody called us crazy. Everybody. But then 
what is that next to the eclipse? If that's not the moon, what is it? And why does it look like the size, shape, and topography of the moon if it's a different planet? This guy absolutely terrifies me, guys. He uh, he looks like he lives in his mom's basement, eats hot Cheetos while drinking Bang energy drinks and playing World of Warcraft while farming crazy conspiracy schemes and content. Bon, bah, l'année prochaine. <laughs> Ciao. That's crazy. It looks like they both made it out of there. Uh, I hope they had some very, very thick wetsuits on. Remember when the ship crashed into the Baltimore Bridge? Why on earth is the crew still on it? 21 people for the last two months. And their phones are confiscated. Make this make sense. The day after the bridge collapsed suspiciously, Biden came out and said, no investigation necessary. The U.S. government will pay for the bridge. Shortly thereafter, the insurance company came out and said, we'll pay out too. In what world does the U.S. government and insurance company pay out immediately without an investigation? Nothing to see here. Don't go digging around. Maui is still dealing with the debris removal and fighting with insurance wow. companies 10 months later. But the bridge? No problem. Let's just pay it out. And then, and then, now we find out that the 21 members of the crew are stuck on the ship, not allowed to leave, trapped, and their phones have been confiscated. Why are they prisoners? The news says they can't leave the ship because of visa restrictions. What? We let ungodly amount of people through the border yeah. without visas, but now it's a problem? The conspiracy theorists said cyber attack. Government quickly said accident. What's really going on here? Up until about eight minutes ago, I had no clue that these uh, crew members were still being held on the ship. Yeah, be careful, y'all. Look. Look. Another one. You see that sh You see where we at? We on Golden State, yo. Golden State and Shaw. They out here with the shit. Look. Over here stealing people's information and shit. You want to hear something else scary? I just read the other day that out of all of these like gas station or bodega card readers, one in five were found with a skimmer attached to them. So give a quick look next time before you just blindly swipe your card away, guys. It is suspicious as shit. No one is talking about the fact that a doomsday glacier in Antarctica is quite literally melting faster than we thought it would because a current of warm water is swooping underneath it. Let's get into it. Now, I'm not calling it the Doomsday Glacier to scare you in any way, shape, form, or fashion. I'm calling it that because that's exactly what scientists have named it. called. Because if this glacier does melt all the way, it will cause global destruction. Sea levels will rise by about 10 feet. So you can imagine any town that's on the coast, any city that may be on the coast, whole countries, Maybe no one's talking about this doomsday glacier because originally scientists said that it would take centuries for it to fully melt. But now with this warm water current going underneath it, it could melt a lot faster. Now, just so you don't think I'm making any of this up, here's an article that is titled, What Happens If the Doomsday Glacier Melts? Right here in the very last sentence, levels would rise up to 10 feet. Places on the coast like Vancouver, Florida, Bangladesh, low-lying Pacific Islands. And here is another article talking about the warm water that is now rushing underneath this massive ass doomsday glacier. Have you ever seen that doomsday map from 2017 that Forbes put out? It was talking about what would happen if sea levels did rise and it shows you the new coastline in the United States. That's the first thing I thought about when I heard the news about this glacier melting faster. If you've never seen that map, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to show it to you. It's trippy though. Mm -mm, no, sir. Just the fact alone that it's named the Doomsday Glacier is more than enough for me, guys. Mm -mm. So y'all know how we have the waters warming up like insane? Do you think this has anything to do with it? Maybe? 
In Florida right now, the water is 90 degrees right at Clearwater. It's May. That's crazy. We literally already have them watching three storms that could that be is coming. crazy. Here they are. If you notice where two of them are starting, it's because this devastating scenario I showed you guys a few days ago. Quick recap. Hurricane Katrina. Now anomaly. Mega anomaly. Now, besides the anomaly that I've been talking about, I think it's worth looking into the undersea volcanoes because, for instance, Iceland is going freaking crazy now. And here's another shot of that. And so two days ago, we just had this anomaly pop up again on Venture Sky. I want you guys to know this is very, very straight line. A straight line signifies something not natural because there are no straight lines in nature. But you can see the wave currents going up into it, and you know what's right here. Funny enough, Ventu Sky is actually Ooh, going to completely remove this model. But why? Also, at the same time, we have India's capital hits a record breaking 126 Fahrenheit in May. Definitely could be a coincidence. Wow. But now, with all these catastrophic storms going on in the US, it just it makes you think really 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 makes you think and what's making these underwater volcanoes go off more than usual or in general all these volcanoes 2024 is a very weird time like i said this year don't go towards the hurricane if a hurricane's coming go the opposite way and if you see two hurricanes turn the one hurricane run did he say 126 degrees in may Yo, I can't even imagine what it's going to feel like in July and August over there. No, thank you. Listen, y'all, if you made it this far, huge, huge thank you. You guys are freaking rock stars. All right. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought. And we'll catch y'all next week. Peace.